In this demonstration, we're going to see how you can model a custom four-way valve using Simscape Fluids. Simscape Fluids provides a four-way directional valve block. This four-way directional valve block approximates much of the dynamics you would find in a four-way directional valve. We would like to create a more complex model that models these effects more explicitly. The structure of the valve we wish to model looks like this. It has the same connection ports to the pump, tank, and A and B ports. However, the spool dynamics are included. An electromechanical actuator controls the flow of hydraulic fluid within the valve so that the hydraulic pressure moves the spool. When the spool moves, it connects the tank to the B port and the pump to the A port. It can operate in both directions. We would also like to include the effect of hydraulic forces in our valve model. As the hydraulic fluid moves past the orifice, it creates a hydraulic force that will act to close this opening. We would like to create a model that incorporates all of these effects within the Simulink environment. We will use Simscape fluids to do it. The structure of our valve will look like this, and we will see that we can enable and disable forces within the valve. Using simulation, we will be able to see the effects those forces have on valve and system performance. I'll now switch over to the model so you can see how this is done. Here is our model of a hydraulic actuation system actuating the bucket on a backhoe arm. When we run the simulation, we can see how the system behaves. We can see that the bucket is moving back and forth in this three-dimensional animation provided by Simscape Multibody. Here in this plot, we can see how the bucket angle tracks a reference signal. We would like to explore the behavior of the valve, including trying different types of valves and the effects of hydraulic forces on the valve. Currently, we are using a very abstract version of the four-way valve. If we go underneath the mask, we can see that the variant of the valve that we are using uses the four-way directional valve provided by Simscape Fluids. The dynamics of the valve are abstracted out to this valve actuator block. In the mask for our component, you can see that the parameters for the valve actuation dynamics are simply a gain, a time constant, and a saturation. We would like to explore a more complex version of this valve in order to assess the effects of the type of valve and hydraulic forces on it. So we will go back to our mask and activate a different variant for our valve, namely the version with a flapper nozzle and a centering spring. So now we can see that a different variant of the model is now active. This is using variant subsystems. When we go into this subsystem, we can see how the model has been created. The flapper nozzle, shown here in yellow, has been modeled using these yellow blocks, the inertia, spring, damper, and hard stops limiting the flapper's motion. These arrows represent the hydraulic passages where the fluid comes in and the hydraulic pressure can move the spool. These hydraulic passages have been modeled using these orifice blocks. The hydraulic passages that activate the spool are modeled using these lines. Going into this subsystem, we can see the mechanical model of the spool, as well as the subsystem that has the connections between the pump, tank, A, and B ports. Going into this subsystem, we can see that we also have different variants here, a variant that neglects the forces due to the flow of hydraulic fluid, and a variant that incorporates them. Looking in here, we have created this model using standard orifice blocks to model the passage between the pump, A, B, and tank ports. Going back up a level, we see that there is another variant that includes those forces. So if I go to the spool tab, which is now active since our model has, fluid, uh, has spool dynamics in it, we can enable the hydraulic forces. Now if I go into this subsystem, we can see that the structure is the same, but instead of simply using the variable area slot block, we have also included a block that will apply the force back to the spool, again including the effects of these dynamics. We would like to test the effects of hydraulic forces on this type of valve. To do that, I'm going to use a MATLAB script. This MATLAB script will test this valve under two conditions. One condition where the hydraulic forces are not included, and then the other variant where the forces are included. At the conclusion of the simulation, we can see an array of plots have been produced. We can see the spool force was active in the second run. This one compares the two runs with and without the force. We can see that when the force was active, the bucket cannot react as quickly to the commanded signal here in black. We can see that the forces affected the spool position. It couldn't open as quickly. And we can see that that affected the pressure in the cylinder. So using a MATLAB script, we were able to automate these tests and produce results showing the difference between the two. 
we can also automate the test to, to compare the different types of valves. So I will disable the hydraulic forces and use another MATLAB script to test all of the different variants of the valve models. We're starting with the abstract model. Then we'll move to a variant that just includes the spool dynamics, no flap or nozzle. And here you can see the results. So all of the four valves have now been compared. We can see how the type of valve affects the behavior in the system. In this demonstration, we have seen how we can model a custom four-way valve using Simscape Fluids.